Now, the UJK dogs of various types that are designed to go uh, with benches created with the path guide system uh, are actually designed to be very tight in the holes. And if you have MDF, which has um, experienced changes in moisture, um, or if when you've drilled those holes, you've been uh, at it just a little bit too rapidly with the 20 millimeter drill, the holes can be a little bit tight. I've actually had to search around for some holes which might be tight so I can demonstrate this next product. Now this wing and the one at the other end on this bench top are the oldest example of holes, 20 millimeter holes that I've got. And I know that some of these are a bit tight. And I found one there which is definitely tight. And Axminster have now produced a reamer. And the reamer is designed to be fitted into a drill, like so. And then on not a high speed, a reasonably low speed, you then like so. And that hole which had previously been tight is now perfect, absolutely perfect. Now it is important to understand the process that can cause a hole to become tight or to be tight from the very beginning. And it's all caused by fibre lining the hole. And MDF in particular is a material that has a lot of fibrous little pieces. But if one were able to see it closely, you'd see that sticking out from the hole will be lots of little fibres pointing in towards the hole. And if there are enough of them, it will make the insertion of a dog difficult. Now, the fibres can be there from the very beginning. If one drills a hole too rapidly uh, with the 20 millimetre cutter, then some fibres can be left behind in the process. Uh, it happens in climates where there are large changes in, in humidity or uh, with certain materials used for your bench top. Uh, I think some plywoods are a bit awkward and also some lower grade MDF can be awkward as well. But by using the reamer, we can get rid of those fibres. By using the reamer, we get rid of that little build-up of fibres on the inside of the hole, and then the dogs will fit perfectly. But anyway, there it is. It's a new product from Axminster. It's made of stainless steel, and it's only designed to be used in wooden tops. It's not designed to be used with any form of metal fabrication whatsoever. Many thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.